As concerns grow over safety in youth football, people across the country are searching for potential solutions. And there are two ideas here in the tri-state area, from a rule change to using science to detect concussions in real time. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas shows us how these efforts are changing the game when it comes to concussion protocol. Go, 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 go. It's game day for the Riverdale Country School Falcons in the Bronx. This might look like any other high school football game, but these teams have called a bit of an audible. Taking away kickoffs. That's right. Not just the Falcons, but the entire Metropolitan Independent Football League has done away with what many fans consider one of the most exciting moments of the game. Riverdale Athletic Director John Peasy says the teams instead start their drives at the 35-yard line, like a touchback. At first, people were a little skeptical, um, but it's, it's second nature now. Peasy says the idea started a few years ago when Riverdale was saddled by injuries, including several concussions. Typically, special teams is, is where a lot of our injuries would happen. A study from 2015 found that during Ivy League games, kickoffs made up just 6% of all plays, yet 21% of concussions happened on kickoffs. As Riverdale grappled with that same issue, they teamed with a nonprofit called the Concussion Legacy Foundation to brainstorm solutions. They settled on a league wide no kickoff rule and a limit on live contact during regular season practice, no more than 15 minutes a day. The league says the average number of concussions dropped from 2.4 per team in 2019 to 1 1.6 in 2021. The debut of the new rules. We've taken some some major steps as a league and as a school to provide a, a really safe environment for our students. But it's tough to know the exact number, as some research shows about half of all concussions go unreported or undetected. We're getting yeah. signal there. That's why professors with Columbia University are working to develop a device that can detect brain injuries in real time. What we really want to accomplish is the ability to uh, keep brains safe. Dr. James Noble says this device, when installed in a helmet, creates something called an EEG, a tool that shows doctors what's happening inside your brain. As soon as I put the helmet on, my brain activity started transmitting to this tablet. The tool is still in development, but the team has high hopes. So somebody on the sideline uh, is able to make a, a, a call and get them pulled out and get them the treatment that they need. The researchers have formed a company called Nomo Diagnostics. They eventually hope to partner with helmet manufacturers. Right now, they expect the cost to be about $400 for each device, which does not include the cost of the helmet it would be installed in. It's a figure Nomo Diagnostics hopes to eventually lower, as many teams are already paying more than $400 for a helmet and more than $900 to fully equip a player. As we make more of them, we're certainly going to be able to bring the price point down significantly. If they reach their goal line, it could be yet another tool to consider for schools concerned about safety. The Metropolitan Independent Football League says their no kickoff rule will be back next season. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. And those are just a couple of the ideas out there to see Tim's full report on a push to require testing for young athletes before they take the field. Head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com.